Hi there. Today we're going to first flash a Windows IoT 10 core version of this software from Microsoft onto a micro SD card. I'm using a 16 gig card. And once that's done, we will then boot the Raspberry Pi using the, flat, the recently flashed micro SD and hopefully we'll have by the end of the episode today a quick functioning version of Windows 10 running on the Raspberry Pi. So first I'm going to put my little micro SD into a card reader which I have plugged into my old surface here. I am then going to select that card. I am going to select the FFU that I'm going to use flash and I'm going to flash it. It's coming up so I have to make sure that I don't know what I'm doing. Let me say yes. And of course So once you've flashed your device, your SD card, you need to slide it into the SD little slot at the bottom of the pipe. Shortcuts clicks in nicely. At this point, make sure you have input device, um, or with a mouse and keyboard. Also, once that's commit and your HDMI out so you can see your activity, at this point, you need to supply power. Takes a few seconds. You can see the first uh, screen happen there. It'll spinning the logo. And now we've booted to Windows 10 core 
on the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, the name, network, IP address, OS version, um, you see configurations here. Power off over there, time which is not correct at this moment. Um, this is main home, and if you go there, you will see some help pages that you can look at. It'll try to link to the internet. Um, but as I am trying to keep these little uh, sessions to 15 minutes or less, today what we managed to do was to flash a, a micro SD card with the Windows 10 Core. Uh, using the IoT SDK image helper. We then inserted that into the Raspberry Pi. We then added power and we booted all the way through. So we can see functioning now that we have Windows 10. Our next session, we will attempt to connect it to a wired internet, connect to it via using PowerShell and then uh, change the device name, um, the login password, and attempt to get a micro SD, a micro uh, Wi-Fi card or dongle, uh, so we can connect to the wireless from that point onwards. So that will be next episode. Thank you all for watching and look forward to Hope to be hearing from some of my subscribers on projects they've been working on. Other than that, I may also be doing a few reviews of uh, items that have been purchased and found useful so far. Thank you very much for your time. See you all next time.